friends, welcome to pre-market update. Uh, friends, what we saw yesterday in the market was uh, uh, very tepid. Uh, on account of pre previous session gains, we saw marginally profit booking. And uh, also what we has, uh, saw that from uh, results is going to kick off kick off uh, with the results of TCS today and uh, Infosys tomorrow. So investors have turned a little bit cautious ahead of result season. Uh, the, as a result, BSC Sensex was just up to 7 points while Nifty was marginally down 2 points. Uh, and what we saw, mar uh, broader indices as mid cap and small cap were also in pressure and were down in the vicinity of 1%. However, what we saw uh, metals and uh, mining stocks were in action. They were up in the vicinity of 1 to 5 percent. Uh, prominent gainers are Tata Steel, Hindalco, Sale, Vedanta, JSPL, and Hindustan Copper Limited. Uh, even uh, shares of oil and oil, oil, market, oil companies like ONGC and Oil India surged 2 percent on uh, government reports that petroleum, uh, uh, sorry, kerosene price might be increased uh, by 25 paise per month till April 2017. This is a positive rub of effect on oil upstream companies. Uh, Infosys and TCS were up 1% ahead of their results. Uh, in terms of prominent gainers and losers in Sensex, prominent gainers in Sensex were Tata Steel, Gale, ONGC, Coal India and Infosys and prominent losers were LNT, uh, Power Grid, Maruti uh, and Asian Pins. Uh, moving on to uh, provisional figures, FIS were biased to the tune of 290 crore in cash market while DIS were seller to the tune of 655 crores. Uh, coming on to uh, global queues, uh, 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 specifically US markets, Dow and the S&P were uh, mar uh, traded on a uh, more of a flattish kind of a note uh, while S&P was down 0.34%. Moving on to Asian queues, Nikkei is trading firm at this point in time with gains of 0.7% while Hang Seng and uh, Shanghai are trading marginally down. Uh, SGX at this point in time is trading marginally down just by two points indicating we might open on a flattish note. Now friends, let's have a derivative update. Good morning friends, we will give analysis on derivatives. Yesterday's trading session was a bit on the positive, uh, where Nifty, after seeing a sharp upside on the high side, uh, straight away from the 8,300 odd levels, uh, we did so uh, a bull taking a bit breather and market uh, showing some kind of a pause in an uptrend. And it was a, uh, it was a day where market uh, market in an intraday basis struggled to find any intraday uh, in, in, intraday trend and eventually closed on a flattish note with, uh, with a minor loss of 0.10 percentage closing at 8520.05. Now the open interest terms, uh, one and a half odd percentage was added in the open interest. In the absolute terms, 3.15 flex shares were added in the open interest. While cost of carry uh, decreased significantly from 2 percentage to 0 0.16 percentage. That is Nifty is currently trading at a premium of just 0 0.55, that is 55 basis points. And uh, hence uh, majority of the build up which was seen in yesterday's trade, however, which was very minor of one, one, one and a half odd percentage. But majority of the addition which was seen was on the uh, was on the shorter side. Uh, put call ratio in decreased by six basis point, which is a very sharp fall in the put call ratio. Uh, uh, seeing uh, seeing the uh, uh, the uh, gains on the loss in the Nifty was uh, was very flattish. Uh, that is, there was not much of gain or loss in the Nifty. But we did show a very sharp fall in the put call ratio. We decreased from 1.11 to 1.05 odd levels, and volatility index increased by four percentage. And uh, for it increased from 14.78 and settled at 15.33 uh, odd levels. Now, on the options activity, uh, there was an interesting observation to look upon a deep out of the money call option 8900. Uh, was quite active and has seen a uh, significant amount of addition of around 112 odd percentage. While the at the money and slightly out of the money options have seen minor addition of 5 to 6 percentage in 8500 and 8600 call option. Remember friends, 8600 call option is the highest in terms of open interest for the series. But on the put side, uh, 8300 strike price, has, uh, uh, there was not much of addition which was been uh, observed in put side 2. Uh, 8300 and 400 uh, strike price put option have seen a minor addition of 2 to 3 odd percent days. While 8500 put option which did saw a significant amount of put writing in day before yesterday's trading session. And uh, seeing the uh, seeing some kind of a downside in yesterday's trade, uh, people have started covering some of the short positions to be on the safer note, and have seen an unwinding into it by two percent days. However, 8,400 put option continues to be highest in terms of open interest for this series, with around 51 lakh shares in it. So all in all, it was a, a very flattish note. The trend on the market continues to be on the higher side. There is not not, not much of change in the data which has been seen in the in, in yesterday's trade. It was just a profit booking which was seen and which was been uh, expected in the, uh, which was quite expected. And uh, in the coming trading session, you uh, uh, market could take support anywhere around eight four five zero thousand five hundred odd levels and can inch higher in the coming trading session. 
Uh, there are two securities in bank period for today's trade, that is JP Associates and India Bull Real Estate. On the FIS front, they continue to be net buyers in index futures. Uh, despite market uh, closing on a flattish note, FIS were net buyers in index futures of around 673 odd crores. Index options net buyers were 195 odd crores. Stock futures net buyers were 154 odd crores and stock options net sellers by 84 crores only. On the market level of high risk, we have changed at 8445 with a lower range at 8445 and higher range at 8572, uh, which is our higher straddle break even point for the series of 8300 call and put. Uh, S6 Nifty is trading flat, uh, is just up by around half a point and scoring anywhere around 8520, indicating a flat is opening can be expected in the morning trade. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. Now, friends, let's discuss trading ideas for the day. First trading idea for the day is Nelco Limited at uh, current market price of 48.25. Nelco has been granted mining lease of 410G with an area covering of uh, 1738 hectares for a period of 50 years. This is positive development happening for Nelco uh, as it will be getting assured aluminum. Uh, action to be taken is long Nelco. Stop loss is placed at 47, will be targeting levels of 50 and 52. Uh, next long idea for the day is HCC at current market price of 24. HCC becomes first company to have its debt recast under a new RBI scheme. This is positive development for HCC. Uh, action to be taken is long. HCC stock loss is placed at 23.5. We'll be targeting levels of 24.7 and 25.2. Uh, now short idea for the day is Sun Pharma. Uh, current market price 778. USFDA defers plans to re-inspect Sun Pharma's Halul facility. So this is sentimental negative. Uh, for Sun Pharma, action to be taken is short. Sun Pharma stock loss is placed at 793. We'll be targeting levels of 754 and 739. Now, friends, moving on to news update front. Uh, MNM is working on a new uh, sub compact SUV to take on Maruti's Vitara Breza that is being developed at North American Technical Center and also plans to launch a new version of TUV 300 next year. Uh, ED2 PMLA quote many transactions between FTL, NB, HC, IB. IBMA and NESL were uh, revealed earlier. ED questions transaction were 23 crores between NBHC and FTIL. Uh, Mindtree launches decision movement platform built on Microsoft Azure services. IEAC's 2017 global oil demand rising by a further 1.3 million uh, barrels per day. Cabinet approves transfer of ITI shares to special uh, national investment fund. Uh, Godred industry seeks shareholder not to invest up to 300 crores in Godred Agrovet. Rupees 16,000 crore uh, JP Simmons business to Ultratech Ultra gets lenders approval. Uh, SRS board has uh, withdrawn its stock, uh, stock split decision. Dr. Reddy's recall around 9,330 bottles of serolimus uh, tablets in US. Pronton Greece suspends operation at Mandideep due to rains. Uh, Modi assigns BA. A3 rating to Adani transmission bonds. Fairfax buys 51% stake in Privy Organics. Bharat Financial uh, inclusion raises around 600 crore via quali uh, qualified institutional placement. Oil and uh, sector gas update. Uh, auction of oil and gas assets to kick start with a road show in US and Canada. 67 small discovered fields to go on auction. This is positive read through for the sector. Uh, Infosys IT Infra Chief Samson David resigns. Uh, Max India to list today post demerger. Uh, TCS is expected to announce its numbers, expected profit of 6,051 crores and net sales expected to be at 29,219 crores. Now friends, moving on to what list stocks with positive and negative buys. Stocks with positive buys are Mother Sumi at 295, Gale at 392, Glenmark at 849, stocks with negative buys are CESC at 601, Crompton Greaves at 71 and Arvind at 319. Stocks for investment which can be suggested to long term investors Britannia at 2868, HDFC at 1198, Maruti at 4321, Ultratech at 3426, and Sun Pharma at 779. Friends, that's all from Advisory Desk. Have a wonderful day ahead.